Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at you. Um, we are doing a drive over to my friend's place uh, this morning. And this is going to be our standard test route for Kirby Mountain Roads. And we'll see how it does. We're not going to get on the interstate here. Um, it looks like I've stayed parked in my house long enough to uh, maybe prevent the GPS issue, we'll see. Uh, the snow has definitely been playing issues with um, full self driving here. Uh, as you saw from the previous couple of videos, that um, it had some definitely had some issues. So far, 10.9 was not better, but I, I honestly think that's really quite due to the snow. Um, there's a lot of uh, it, it, it doesn't look di that much different to a human, but. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna have to disengage it before it gets on the highway. It doesn't look a bunch different to a Hewing. There's also ice right here. Um, too much different to a Hewing, but to the car, you got all this white stuff on the side of the road. It looks completely different uh, landscape. You got salt covering the lines. The lines are now like faded and all that stuff. And so to the computer, it looks completely different. Let's see until it decides it wants to keep on going this direction. There we go. Ooh, okay. So <laughs> I guess it thought that car was going to go in my lane. So it swerved as if it was going to go in my lane. Let's see if it's gonna break at this yield, or break all the way at this yield. I think it's gonna do a full stop. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Come on, car. Come on. I've had to press the accelerator to get it to go. And due to the speed limit change, we no longer want it to go 35 mile an hour at the coast into the 20 at 35. 25 is f fine. Um, but it really needs to coast down sooner. Go ahead and start speeding up to the speed limit here. It braked right there for that car. See, the phantom braking is still here and healthy, unfortunately. Or unhealthy, however you wanted to, to look at it. Uh, it brakes still far too often for cars coming around the corners and just random shadows on the road. There's still phantom braking right there. It's hard to tell from the video, and I don't know how well you can see the region, but when the region spikes, you'll see it quickly flip back and forth, right? Like right there. Uh, it, that was somewhat more going around the curve where it slowed down, but still, it just doesn't need to slow down like that. It slows down so abruptly and it's not smooth at all. And don't get me wrong that the last like five updates have tremendously improved. Like the 10 updates have tremendously improved the performance around curves. And it's actually made it mostly usable. Like I don't really have to press the accelerator very much anymore, but it's still not smooth enough to where like right there, breaks for no reason. And now we're going up to the wrong speed because the speed limit is wrong on this road. Um, because of poor map data. I, they really need to just get something enabled like, hey, this person scrolls down the speed every time the speed limit goes up. We don't see a 55 mile an hour speed limit sign. Which just assume the human is right and never and just cancel out and just assume that map data is wrong. They could fix poor map data so quickly if they just did that by just like, just looking at what the human does, just know an average of you know, multiple Tesla drivers. I'm sure I'm not the only Tesla driver that's been on this road. Um, so they can figure out how uh, well it does. Uh, well, it can correct map data th from that way. Like it sees a 45 mile an hour speed limit sign. So it knows, hey, we're probably still on a 45 mile an hour speed limit yeah, zone. So there's no reason at all it should be going up to 50. Or sorry, 55. Slowing down too much around this curve and almost 
took the curve too wide. Uh, I almost had to take over so then hit that snow bank on the side. Okay, it broke too abruptly going around this curve. Let's see if it's going to stop at this stop sign here. You can saw it show up on the screen and it just vaguely tried to stop at it. You can feel it pulse the brake, but otherwise it did good. And it's staying on the correct side of the road here, so that's better as well. Though it's phantom braking is worse. Uh, I, don't, I don't recall if we had a lot of sun last time we did this, but it could be because of the snow or the salt on the road. But phantom braking is definitely worse on this road uh, when it comes to to go down these curves. That car is on my side of the road. That's cool. have a little bit better acceleration getting onto the highway at least I didn't notice that it floored it to get onto the highway it was fast acceleration but they didn't straight up floor it at least it didn't feel that way uh, it could be it got the batteries cold and that's um, a lower state of charge so maybe it's just slower <laughs> but um, yeah Turn sharp left onto Greenville Highway. Okie dokie. That was less than ideal. There's a person behind me and they were waiting on me. So I forced it to go and obviously when I do that it doesn't do it very smoothly. Otherwise we made it with zero disengagements. Um, it wasn't as smooth as the last time, but zero disengagements nonetheless. Um, if anyone has questions for me, definitely put a comments down below. And I'll glad to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.